Hello everybody, welcome to a BBG update. We did have the BBG team putting out a new version for the beta build. And from what I understand, they were, they were, they were already doing quite a few updates and uh, trying to fix some of the issues. Of course, the beta build is quite, a, I would say, um, chaotic environment. We do have multiple updates. The players uh, do need to actually take care of um, uh, unsubscribing, subscribing to the correct mods and so on and so forth. So there are no connection issues. Now, to be honest, let's actually take a look at the mod over here and let's see what they have been working on and what will change in the next part. After the CWC, we're probably going to have a new BBG update and I'm pretty sure quite a few of these changes are gonna go through now this is the period where everybody gets to actually say their feedback and um, take part of the meta change i would call this a meta change let's take a look at the governor rework this was one of the most important things that they did over here let's actually see we do have a ground baker for magnus a 40 percent yields from prod harvest and the feature removals in the city that means uh, there is a 10 percent drop uh, in yields over here uh, from the plot harvest which is a bit of a nerf uh, to be honest let's actually see surplus logistics uh, no sorry expedition 20 percent growth in the city this is just the same uh you, but it is uh, i believe changed no 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 it's not okay uh, your trade route ending here plus two food to their starting city that was over here on the right side of on the provision now it got moved on surplus logistics and it will be basically the food promotion on the right side we do have the industry promotion 25 percent towards iz buildings in the city I don't imagine anybody's gonna pick this up at the beginning. You don't. You just don't get to actually build IZs that uh, early in the game. Settle strain in the city. Do not consume a population, which is kind of like, oh my god, like how are you gonna approach this, right? Are you gonna uh, take this promotion just so you don't eat your population from the city center? Hmm. Am I the only one finding this unlikely? Anyway, looking uh, next up, we do have surplus logistics. Move from the right side, which was uh, instead of the industrial bonus that we just talked about. Now it will get a train out ending, uh, providing just one point of production to the starting city. Uh, looking at... Um, the initial one we did have of course the two production and the movement over here was also on the left side now no more extra movement for that um, settler which is kind of a slowdown uh, but to be honest i mean it's kind of fair those uh, settlers were kind of did you see them flash man <laughs> We do have on the right side also the black market workshops uh, getting a plus two bonus of production, I would assume. Uh, factories plus four bonus production, F power plants also plus seven production and plus four electricity in the city. Which to be honest is kind of nice, that's quite a bit of production. Mm, although does it actually mix well with all of the other... Mm, governor titles that you're gonna need to, to get into the game because you're gonna need a lot right you're still gonna need moksha you're gonna need a little bit of pingala maybe you want to get liang maybe you need the money for a city state now this is gonna be quite a question if the players are gonna think the the right side is gonna be worth it to be honest right now left side does seem like it is quite powerful quite powerful indeed vertical integration just the same the city receives production from any number of iz's it was over here in the fourth one and i do have to say they did a plug-in industrialist over here with um other bonuses right it moved they moved it on the right side and uh, <clears throat> you do see that right now you're gonna have uh, two options two options and then one last option not uh, two one two as it is right now in uh, the governor abilities of governor magnus now moving forward let's actually take a look at liang what did they change did they change anything i think so i think so so as a quick look of course the first option is just the same guild master is there reinforced materials the plus one production for floodplains and volcanic soils you saw how many players really like this promotion i would imagine it needed to stay in there uh, the city's improvements not damaged not damaged by the environmental effects now on the, um, the left side we also have the same park and recreation the city park unique improvement can be built in the city i would do want to double check if the numbers are just the same and i think so plus three science plus three and plus two culture plus one amenity yes plus two housing yes and plus two appeal is not here okay so they kind of took out the appeal to adjacent tiles uh interesting okay i mean less shimamus on the map <laughs> um i'm kidding uh, we do have on the right side the housing boom also um, uh, changed it looks like they changed it to urb urbanism plus one production on the revealed resources in the city uh, which uh, of course uh, will mean that the 
produ- the production extra that you would have gotten as the fourth promotion, you would get it on the third one, which is kind of nice if you want to do open up with a very, very big city. Usually the players did use this if they had like more than eight, nine, ten uh, resources in one city center. So they would get a massive food influx and also production influx. And so I would imagine this uh, might be quite a valuable thing, quite a valuable thing. I can even imagine. Oh, my God. I was just thinking of um, how to say the flood plain civilizations that get bonus over there on the uh, on those cities i would imagine liang is gonna be just amazing amazing you, you're gonna pray for more maize tiles on your uh, on your cities or uh, something like you know wheat tiles anything rice tiles yes put them over there in the plot planes woo, woo. anyway uh, i guess uh, there will be at some point maybe a, a bit of a request for bbm you know, can you can you put more uh, resources on flood plains? Nobody's gonna know. I, I swear, nobody's gonna know when Cleopatra spawns. You put more resources there. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, moving forward, let's actually take a look at the other ones. I'd wanna um, uh, see. Uh, oh wait, the last the last promotion plus one housing plus one amenity per district and one in the city. Okay, and that's a lot of amenities. That's a lot of amenities. I would really assume that these cities are gonna be big. Whenever you're gonna put Liang, it's gonna grow big, big. So I would imagine that we'll have uh, quite a few districts uh, to place, and of course, uh, benefit from those bonuses. Well, moving uh, next, let's actually take a look at Moksha. This time around, it looks like Moksha has been changed to uh, the culture uh, Moksha. Well, it was kind of culture anyway, a bit of a culture and faith, right? You do get some uh, faith per ten from the special district in the city. That, by the way, is a bonus that I think just is the same. They didn't change anything. Establishes in four turns. On the left side, we do have the plus one culture for population, just as we had before. And they moved the bonus that was initially on the Citadel of God to the left side. The game, uh, sorry, the city re- ignores religious pressure from religions not founded on the governor's uh, player. And on the right side, they did put instead the Citadel of Gods. The trade routes ending here provides plus two culture for their starting city. It looks like Magnus is going to have some competition over here. Mm-hmm. More and more. I mean, Pingala getting the signs for trade routes. We do have Magnus over here getting his um, how to say, uh, um, production and food. Now we do have Moksha with, yeah, culture. No, makes sense. Makes sense. What are we going to have next? Maybe faith? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, looking at Divine Architect, we do have on the left side ability to uh, faith by district. Apostles, warriors, monks trained in the city receive one extra promotion. Uh, we do need to see if uh, they're going to manage to uh, get that going. And of course, uh, let's actually take a look what's uh, going on over here. Uh, the, it did already have the districts uh, available to buy with faith. And looking at this, they did uh, uh, add the... Um, warrior monks that was on the right side i believe within the city receive a free promotion yes one extra promotion actually in the city receive one extra promotion is it a f- i guess it is a free one anyway uh free motion immediately after earning their first promotion oh a second one wow a sec well it, it, that used to be it doesn't seem like it is anymore on the right side, we do have the Patreon Saint with a trade route sending here provide another culture point to their starting city. Grant the ability to faith by support units in the city center. This will probably make it easier to actually get uh, to monarchy, feudalism and other stuff uh, when you're coming, uh, when you're um, at the beginning of the game. Mm. This is going to be nice. This is going to be nice. Uh, I do want to, of course, uh, see all of the governors, but I like um, how they're going with this. You want to specialize on uh, more culture? You do need more culture? You know you're going to get it? Yeah, no problem. You got the option right now. Uh, the last uh, promotion is Curator, Double Tourism for Great Works of Art, Music and Writing in the City. Um, okay. Well, the, it was just the same as uh, over here, so no big change over there. Uh, on Pingala, 15% science generated in the city. Let's put it up over here on the screen so we see it side by side. It's just the same. Uh, it establishes in four turns as well as the other ones. Uh, grants the 100% people generation on the left side. Um, plus one science per population on the right side. Okay, so these are kind of like the same right here. 100% people points generated. That's basically what it means. And also um, uh, the plus one of science on the right side Eureka's is just the same uh, campus buildings provide additional science okay on the right side we do have the trade routes that did get an extra food point by the looks of it uh, plus one food plus three science per internal traders to the city and the space initiative uh, 30% production towards uh, space projects okay 
Oh, just to say, this is uh, it looks like the only change they did was uh, the plus on food over here uh, for the science uh, trade routes. Yeah, plus on food for the science trade routes. Well, that's about it about Pingala. Nothing much changed on Victor, though. Mm, let's see. Let's see. I was remembering something about Victor earlier because I was reading through this. So first of all, you do get the combat strength by five. You, know, you do get the garrison commander on the left side, still with the plus three, but they moved the nine tiles uh, gain loyalty on the right side, uh, actually from the left side to, where is it? Where is it? There's no, wait, there's, there's no more loyalty. No more loyalty for Victor. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this because there there were some situations in which you really needed the extra loyalty. Anyway, I guess we're going to need to see if they put it back in or maybe it's just a typo. I hope it's a typo. On the right side, we do have a city defense logistics. The city cannot be put under siege. That was actually moved um, from the right side to here to on the left side. Embrasure city cannot be siege plus on attack. Um, and the embrasure got changed. Well, I, I, as you see over here, uh, defense logistics. No, that's not it. That's not it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it looks like it got a new promotion. Defense logistics is a new bonus 25% production towards military units in the city center. Did they change? Uh, God of the Forge also, because it, it seems to me like these are a lot of bonuses for production. Like if you get the other guy for production, you get Liang for production, you get this for production. There's a lot of production, don't you think? Okay, well, uh, it basically shades off a turn for a horse. Yeah, we do have uh, also... Uh, Embrasure that was gaining the additional range strike per turn. It was... Okay, Embration, you can see you cannot be siege. Oh, 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 free promotion. No more free promotion. Yeah, it can move here on the arms race. That's the change. And the black market, it's no more. Strategic resources are not required in the city. Units do not cost uh, city. Okay, 50% to nuclear weapons project. Ooh, very nice, very nice. So I guess you do get the Manhattan project a lot faster. I'm curious, does this work on actually nukes, building the nuke? Because that's kind of a project also. Interesting. Uh, we do have uh, air defense initiative. 25% uh, uh, combat strength to anti-air units. That's just the uh, same as uh, before. And uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me uh, take a look over here. Yeah, it's just the uh, same as before. Okay. Okay. That's uh, that's another one. A big change over here for uh, Governor Victor. Uh, money. Let's see. This is uh, the governor that uh, lets a lot of the players actually keep the city states intact. Can be assigned to a city state where she acts as uh, two envoys when establishing in the city state. Uh, your uh, cities cannot have a trade route to the city, gain plus two food and plus two production. This is amazing. And let me actually put it up on the screen. Uh, yes, it is just the same as uh, we did have it before. A negotiator would be the next one. City cannot be put under siege and gains plus five combat strength. It's just the same. Affluence is uh, plus two strategic additional strategic resources per turn of each you have revealed okay it's just the same for an investor uh, plus one food plus one production plus three gold two traders and to the city state were established and that would be a new one it doesn't look like it did have this bonus i was remember there's nothing like this anyway uh, enemy spies operate at three levels below normal cities are actually moved on the left side okay local informant it got moved on the left side so for an investor it's a new one a new bonus and you do have the food production goal for the traders sent to the city were established that is on top of the extra two food and two production so basically if you are all alone somewhere on the map and you have a single city state that you can trade with and no other ally uh, you can use uh, city states quite nicely with a money not bad not bad i do have to point out when you're coming out to the mid to late game a lot of the players in ffas and in teamers do switch from internal trade routes to externals using um, when they do unlock the visal bank card basically what that does it gives an extra plus two production and plus two food for each of those trade routes and uh, yeah, for the other player which is amazing right you, you do get extra extra yields uh we're gonna see it soon uh, let me take a look here arena a land acquisition acquire uh, new tiles in the city oh actually let me put it up i just realized that i could uh, easily put it up over here vessel bank and this one your trade was to an ally city or vessel city state provide plus two food and plus two production for both cities um plus um, 0.25 alliance points per 10 for all alliances so basically right now with the money you 
you can actually have uh, kind of the same bonus over here for uh, the trade routes, which is, again, amazing. Well, let's uh, put it up back on the screen and uh, take a look at the Reina, which I understand a lot of people are calling out to be a first pick. And I got curious. I got curious. Not going to lie. What, what is this? Acquire new tiles in the city faster. Four golds. Um, well, four gold for foreign traders uh, going through this city. Okay. That's basically just the same, no? Uh, acquired new tiles, uh, trade routes passing through the city. Yeah, okay. Uh, Harbor Master, double adjacency. This should be the same as well. Uh, forestry management on the right side. This city receives plus two gold for each and improve the feature, which also grants plus one appeal. Uh, four gold per internal trader. So one trade route capacity. Oh, I can see, I, I can see where uh, I can see where the thing started. Uh, plus one trade route capacity for a single governor title. Wow. Wow, Reina! <laughs> oh, Reina! I mean, if you couple this together with the uh, Persians and the uh, Cree and so on and so forth, you don't even need to build commercials. Oh my God! Anyway, uh, I, I guess that this is gonna have a big impact, big impact. And I do see also the next one gives another plus two gold per ten for each citizen in the city, which again is pretty good. And one extra trade route capacity, another trade route. You can get two trade routes just for um, Reina. Amazing. Uh, okay. I mean, to be honest, that will open up the players to have a bit of a diverse um, opener in when it comes to the districts right now a lot of the players were going opening up with commercials so they could get the trade routes so they could actually uh, do other stuff afterwards with a bit more extra food a bit of more extra production their cities were growing uh, at a certain pace they were getting used to and of course uh, managing to achieve those district discounts now this is going to be quite interesting to see how the players are going to try to use all of these bonuses together you know, from the governors uh, to actually actually be able to attack um, their neighbors a little bit faster uh, get uh, the seeming bonuses a little bit faster uh, how uh, in what order they're gonna go for those um, uh, districts that give them stats like uh, campuses or theater squares and so on this opens up on a big array of options and moving to the next one let's actually uh, put it back on the screen here we do have the contractor which is the one that allows you to purchase districts with gold building costs reduced by 50 percent and support units by reduced by 50 uh, percent now this was so 50 percent gold discount on purchasing buildings and districts if available um mm, mm, okay so this one got merged with contractor on the left side the deal maker with contractor and on the right side they put foreign exchange plus two science and culture for foreign traders going through this city i like i actually i like but i think this might be a bit too much uh for um like uh, for those situations in which uh, some of the players do have Reina cities and uh, can use the international trade routes to go through uh, lakes and so on and so forth, so, uh, or I should say inland seas, so they can get uh, those uh, extra gold points and they do have uh, easy placements for Reina cities. Um, it does happen a lot of the times your opponents um, will not have that ability. And I, I fear this might be a bit too much, too much. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, well, actually, wait, it's too much. It's like 20 more signs, right? Let's say 10, 10 more traders are coming through that from your uh, ally. That's also quite a few traders. Let's say eight. Mm, mm. Okay, it's not that big, to be honest. Okay, okay, it's not that big. I was uh, jumping the horse a bit too much over there. Okay, okay. Let's see what's going on in uh, Ibrahim. Ooh, Ibrahim. Well, I guess we don't have Ibrahim here because we don't have him, uh, uh, how to say... Uh, Oh, I need to actually do this and um, start off with uh, Ottomans so we can see what they changed to Ibrahim. 25% uh, production to all military units in uh, the city center. Let me just click on buttons over here and get uh, uh, Ottomans going. Okay, so let's see uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim is this. 20% uh, production to all military units if established it, get, it did get a 5% extra bonus over here on the production of military units uh, when establishing an allied camera, alliance level rate is increased that is not a bonus here so it looks like uh, they did they did put a bonus that was here when establishing an allied for your alliance points with the owner increase uh, extra yeah uh, but it doesn't say the rate like you see in the previous uh, bonus, we did have it express a 0.5 per turn uh, rate. I'm not sure exactly what uh, was the number here. I guess we need to ask more questions. On the left one, we do have head falconer with um, 
the one culture faith per population in the city this is not here so this is a new bonus that they did put uh, on the left side on the right side we do have uh, the Serasker grants uh, plus one movement for units within 10 range of the city all friendly units uh, fighting within the city's territory get the plus three combat strength so uh, right now um you units within the again plus 10 combat strength when attacking this is not here this got moved actually the second one it got moved to the third one uh, grants all units within 10 tiles of uh, the city center uh, okay and uh, Serasker <clears throat> do we have it anywhere this one so Serasker Capua Aga they just um, inverted these ones by the looks of it okay and put um, extra combat strength that wasn't there before Okay, um, and I do see the Grand Vizier also when established in a foreign capital. Oh, wait, that was it, right? This got changed to plus five housing and amenities. What? Five housing and amenities? Oh my god. I think we're gonna see a lot more Ottomans. That's a lot of amenities, man. That's a lot of amenities. Like, imagine not even players uh, that are going for um, Colosseum get that many amenities from uh, sometimes uh, the Colosseum, like hitting f five cities, for example. What? Anyway, Temple of Artemis also. Can you imagine Temple of Artemis, man? Oh, man. Oh, man. This is just as big as Temple of Artemis. Anyway, there are quite a few more changes that we need to go through. These were the governors, and I do want to uh, know what do you think about these changes. Just leave a comment down below, and do, if you do want to uh, take part, uh, part of the conversation I will uh, of the BBG changes and so on and so forth, definitely, if you uh, do send me a comment, I will relay it as, much, as best I can. If you want to take direct part of the conversation, feel free to join the Discord server. Uh, I will link it below so you can uh, see the BBG discussions. Um, I do want to move forward, right? We do have the 590 beta uh, is up and it looks like there were a few changes. Let's take a look from the top part. Uh, okay, where does it start? Here, it's 7th of July. Uh, it's biggest update we have ever done Ooh, so make sure you take the time to read the patch notes we are also waiting for your feedback uh, more than ever to help us in the rework we did um okay 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 i link this uh, also link i'll put this link in the description uh, game speed and science culture rebalance all technologies after the classical era now cost five percent more um okay era gate increased to 30 uh, percent for technologies from 20 percent era case uh, game game mechanic where you're currently researching a civic technology from an era ahead of the current game era the cost is increased and the opposite also exists um when you're on a civic tech behind the current uh, game era i do want to point out this is going to make it uh, quite a bit harder uh, for uh, the players to actually go extremely quickly for into industrialization for example when they're going through that uh, top three you do get it much faster than the era you are in uh, usually right now in the meta uh, moving forward oxford university did get moved to urbanization on the culture tree forum scientific theory so it got moved from uh, the how to say from uh, the technology tree to the culture tree some uh, scientific theory would be somewhere here there we go now we do have it here it got moved on urbanization right okay urbanization is um around here somewhere uh pu -pu 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 -pu. there we go here okay okay well to be honest this is uh, gonna be good because um you are managing to snowball with um, Oxford University while you are getting already a lot of science and it was on the way towards the research labs where you were just adding, padding those uh, points of uh, science and that was quite a bit of the cost of a lot of culture. You didn't have the players um, prioritizing a lot more the science than uh, they were the culture in the previous meta. Uh, looking back, let's actually see here. We do have global changes. Plus one production to the J tiles. I guess this was one of the few resources that didn't actually get that much love and now it gets definitely i think it's gonna be good uh still eureka is now have one renaissance wall okay sure uh, this is uh, this was a weird eureka if i remember correctly the steel one uh, build a coal mine and an ironclad so basically you would have needed to not only go for uh, industrialization but you would have needed to go a step forward towards uh, steam power to get an ironclad or maybe you got lucky with the admiral and got the yisun sin to get an ironclad but other than that oh my god it would have taken you so so long to actually go uh, through these uh, 
on these choices. I do want to point out at some point there was a change. Um, steam power did not require scientific uh, theory. Now it requires it. So if they did. So it. The, they did manage to add quite a bit of time uh, between the caravel timing and the ironclads. It used to be like it's extremely quick be, um, to get from cartography to steam power. Now, in the previous meta, in the last like four, five, six months, with uh, actually even more, um, we did have uh, the ironclad timing significantly re reduced by the change they did, which was good to be honest, good on the seas. Now, uh, moving forward, let's actually see. Now, we do have Bastion policy card, no longer gives the city center range combat strength okay i mean yeah okay okay that was to be honest uh, those were kind of like you know 360 no scope rangers over there in the uh in the cities whenever you put on the bastion card now uh, drums of war normal age now gives uh, plus one and a score when recruiting a great person uh, also, Golden Age no longer gives uh, culture on encampment building. Encampments gives uh, plus one production, grants 25% of the combat strength of a unit in culture when killing it. To be honest, I think this should have been uh, the first uh, try. Like encampments giving the production for the Golden Age in, um, um, uh, in Drums of War, I think it would have made a lot more sense than putting the culture just as the pen brush and voice would have been. <clears throat> but sure. The 25% combat uh, strength of the unit in culture when killing. This uh, reminds me of uh, Gorgo's bonus, I guess. Uh, unit changes. Uh, recon units uh, get a plus one sight apart from the scout and the Okichitao. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, this is going to be big. This is going to be big. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, aircraft carriers, melee strength buff to 80 from 70. Okay. Uh, naval first combat promotion reduced to plus five combat strength from plus seven for both melee and ranged units. Okay, so basically like uh, Embolom and the other one. I'm not sure exactly the other one. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess we're gonna see a lot less uh, Victor thirds over there, uh, or the extra production, uh, the extra promotion Victor. Uh, religious changes <coughs> and also terracotta. Uh, religious changes, uh, cross culture dialogue, and uh, wall church now uh, requires three converted citizens to get one point of culture or science from four. Uh, it's going to make it a lot easier. Um, this actually, this was a change that they kept on going back and forth. Uh, now, to be honest, I think it is a pretty powerful one when you're talking about three the four ones it didn't really seem in a lot of the games to give that much of a bonus but to be honest from a <clears throat> spectator point of view we don't actually get access to all of the numbers we can ask them after the game but we can't ask them uh, during the game so yeah maybe maybe uh, we don't have the full picture here now with the three converted citizens is definitely going to be a lot more points here uh from um the conversion of your allied cities and to be honest i loved seeing this happen as in seeing the players uh, getting together to uh, use their bonuses and uh, somehow creating um, connections between their empires uh, using the trade routes using reina using anything they can to actually get this um, these extra bonuses going from cooperating from cooperation and this is another sign of cooperation having those uh, converted citizens everywhere there and not to mention you've seen theodora and basil what they do when they want those uh, extra taxes straight, right? They just convert their uh, opponent, uh, well, their allies' um, cities, so they can just get their uh, plus two pilgrimage, plus two base, and plus one uh, technology. Okay. Also, passive spread is, is passive spread is reduced to ten tiles from twelve. Okay, this is uh, to nerf it a little bit, uh, especially the pa which to be honest is fine. It's totally fair. I don't think uh, in the majority of the games it's going to matter that much. But especially if you do want to passively convert while using the cross culture dialogue and world church uh, benefits here, um, or, uh, I'm pretty sure this would have been a problem if uh, the passive spread was too great. Uh, Tithe it also will only get a plus two base and plus one a theology. Hmm. I think I like how they uh, split it up as in uh, somehow link it to a civic that you need to discover later theology um, well most of the time you want to go feudalism you don't really want to go theology you, know? you don't want to open up um, both theater squares and um, entertainment complexes 
But to be honest, I've seen a lot of players go theology as well. So we're going to need to see if uh, this time around, is, this is going to be a significant incentive to compete with the feudalism incentive for give, getting all of that extra production from the bon, uh, from the um, extra um, charges you're going to get on the builders and converting them, of course, into bonuses for your empire. Uh, next up, we do have uh, civilization changes. Okay, I mean, there are quite a few of them. There are quite a few of them. Uh, let's see. I am... Mm -mm. Recon uh, Australia. Pashas no longer give a production bonus. Okay. Oof, that's a big one. Byzantium. Dromons get plus five combat strength against naval units. Okay. Okay, okay, makes sense. Uh, uh, we didn't see Dromos in such a long time. The, the players were thinking they're useless, so maybe this time around we're gonna see some. One, maybe one. Uh, Byzantium Theodora. Hippodromes no longer get uh, culture adjacency. Okay, makes sense. There was a lot of culture on Theodora. Although, I'm not sure if that was the power spike Theodora was getting from. Uh, anyway, now, Ptolemaic Egypt, improved resources on floodplains, uh, get the plus one uh, culture. Remember what I said with uh, uh, the production changes on the um, governor titles? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna be big. Okay, I think a lot of people will like that. I think a lot of people will like Ptolemic. Even more! Uh, we do have Greece Pericles um, getting uh, the 5% tourism per uh, city-state Suze. Uh, India Gandhi, settlers and builders produced from city with a holy site get the plus one movement point from no requirement. Okay. Hmm. Japan, comma, strength, comma bonus nerf to a plus three. So, uh, sorry, just to put it, put it in perspective, this is um, a bonus that got uh, delayed quite a bit uh, by the looks of it because you actually need to build the holy sites when you're starting to produce settlers. And um, yes, Gandhi usually does like to build holy sites, but to be honest, it's doing pretty well if it's not building that many holy sites. Um, it was quite a big bonus uh, to have the extra bon uh, to extra movement on uh, the settlers and builders. Imagine you're basically um, getting a free turn when you're moving your builder from a hill to another hill, uh, and you can actually improve that new hill because you have the extra movement. Mm, now it's going to be a bit delayed, and if you don't build holy sites everywhere, you're just not going to have that bonus. Uh, Japan Hojo, combat bonus nerf to plus 3 from the plus 5, this makes sense, we've seen the power creep, but to be honest it might get a little bit um, uh, unbalanced versus the other ones, versus uh, Norway, versus... Um, Maybe we, maybe we will see some uh, changes over there. Uh, versus Daido, for example, uh, any civilization on the coast that will have uh, the plus 5 on it, right? We got the Byrims that already have plus 5. Um, base extra strength on the biomes and now um, i guess we're going to need to see if um, also age of empire will have a lot of boats coming up or enough boats to uh, go through japan they were kind of neck and neck at the beginning free boats on one side from um, age of empire stronger boats from um, the long ships from uh, konge for example and from um, uh, daido and then we did have hojo also with the extra plus five on uh, the coast uh, okay Let's see. Let's see how uh, it will perform in the games. Uh, I think if you do a change to Hojo, you kind of need to do a change on uh, the other ones. And also, I'm a bit uh, curious if uh, this combat strength is uh, dedicated on the water and or it is uh, both water and coastal tiles. I would imagine by the uh, phrasing here, it would be both. So we're going to have also land units being nerfed to plus three, not, uh, not only um, coastal units. Okay, naval units. Maya will get a plus three combat strength six tiles from the capital. Wait, wasn't Maya benefiting from this bank before? Oh my god, okay. Uh, plus two seven, blah, 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 blah. Lady six sky, uh, plus five. Oh, it did, they did remove it, right, at some point? Mm -hmm. Wow, I can amenity. I can amenity. Anyway, now after feudalism... Uh, wait, sorry, I was on Scythia. Uh, Kurgan base of faith reduced to one from two makes sense makes sense that was an insane amount of faith on those kurgans um but they kept the production which is also good sweden after feudalism series on desert uh, tundra uh, and the uh, snow tiles get plus on food and plus on production base okay 
you know, Vietnam no longer get uh, plus one. Uh, I, uh, sorry, I'm just to make a quick point over here on Sweden. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough for the players to want to play Sweden. That's basically why I was hesitating to make a comment over here. It doesn't seem like it's that big of an incentive right now to me. Uh, Vietnam no longer get a plus one extra movement, a point on neutral or enemy territory. Now, this, this is big for Vietnam. You've seen how quickly it could get its armies from one side to the other. This is going to be uh, quite important, especially for the scouts. The scouts are not going to be that uh, annoying at the beginning of the game. Um, civilization rework, uh, what do we have here? Catherine Magnificence, the core festivals will no longer give flat tourism. Uh, based on the excess of luxuries, it now gives plus three combat and global tourism each time it is finished. Okay. Uh, China, I am actually... Uh, uh, I can't wait to actually see some of these games if they will actually be um, uh, if they will actually be tried out. I'm, I'm having a bit of uh, second so thoughts over here that Catherine met them. it will use its uh, core festival bonuses. Uh, China, Great Wall gets plus on culture and military science. Crouching Tiger reduced to 170 production. Let's see how much was the Crouching Tiger. How much was it Crouching Tiger? Uh, pop, 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 was 190 now it's 170 okay okay that's a that's a very strong unit to be honest uh, like we've seen it hold hold much stronger units especially when they're uh, close up it's not extremely strong when you're coming uh, when uh, you're talking about direct confrontation like midi but if you do have a unit in front of it ooh, 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 or a city center to defend off attacks that's amazing uh, eureka inspiration boost reduced to plus five percent from a plus ten Okay, this is on China, right? Just on China. Remove bonus on uh, Eureka Inspiration when finishing Wonders. Move to Kinshi Mandate. So basically they just uh, are putting Kinshi Mandate. They're um, focusing him on as the Wonder Builder, basically. From what I see. Uh, Kublai, trade routes receive plus one culture and science for every 16 tiles they traveled. Okay, that's a long trade route. That is a very long trade route every 16 tiles wait 16 tiles is back and forth right so you basically if you have your city eight uh, tiles away it will get 16 from that uh, city center so you get one culture and science okay that's kind of weak to be honest anyway uh, king she mandate uh, builder charges to complete wonders to 20 uh, percent uh, from 15 uh, percent okay gets an uh, eureka inspiration when he finishes a wonder from china uh, so, yeah, it did get moved here. Uh, unifier books now give one food. Okay. Gets an Eureka Inspiration. I, I, sorry, I was trying to imagine how the books give food. Leave a comment down below. Uh, gets an Eureka Inspiration when he uh, recruits a general or a writer. Okay. That's, uh, that's also big, by the way. Uh, we do have Wuzetian. Traders and spies get plus two, si uh, plus two sight. Uh, recon units get plus one sight when machinery is unlocked. Uh, unit uh, three tiles from a spy get plus two combat strength. Uh, three tiles from a recon unit get plus two combat strength. And uh, gets a an Eureka inspiration when finishing a building from Governor Plaza or Diplo Quarter. Uh, okay, I guess the Eureka inspiration is not going to be that big. Uh, we don't have that many. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the I really am interested in the spy bonus. And the recon bonus, like the units around them. I'm actually quite curious how this is going to work um, in the actual game. I find it a bit like this. You know how you're scratching your left ear with your uh, right uh, arm? But sure. Uh, Yongle, uh, food and faith projects to 70% uh, of the production from 60%. Um, we do have gets a uh, Eureka when cities reach 10 population. Uh, gets an inspiration when cities reach 15 population. Just as a quick note, no, Yongle does really like a lot of population cities. So yeah, makes sense to actually link these up. Uh, England, Sea Dogs Combat Strength reduced to 53 from 55. Just a small nerf, not a big one. And to be honest, uh, they are strong units. Uh, they are also managing to change the path of wars or i should say the outcome of wars um and we've seen them multiple times doing this a bonus production towards ic buildings is removed moved to age of steam for england okay 
uh, Elizabeth, naval raider can promote and move in the same turn. Uh, so uh, sea dogs are gonna be amazing. Uh, Victoria, Age of Empire, cities on a new continent no longer get a free trade out capacity. No, no, not like this. A city settled 10 plus tiles from the capital get a free melee unit. Yeah, I mean, we knew that. Um, civilian units escorted by melee uh, naval units gain the, their movement. Man, okay. 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 Well, at least uh, Age of Empire is going to be a bit more uh, expansive. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Age of Steam, 20% production towards uh, IZ buildings from England. Um, removed uh, plus one production to improve strategic tiles. Okay, uh, series. Uh, this actually caused quite a bit of a ruckus when it was introduced. Now it looks like it got removed completely. Uh, series with a lighthouse get the plus one great engineer point. Um, industrial zones uh, get a major adjacency from Royal Navy dockyards. This is very nice, actually, in Age of Steam. This is very nice. I like. I really don't like Age of Empire. Uh, what they did to Age of Empire. I don't think this was uh, required. I, I don't think uh, right now with all of the other buffs and uh, what they did to the governors and so on, I don't think this was required. Cities on a new continent no longer get a free trade route capacity. Um, okay, well, next up, we do have Korea. No changes. Uh, Seons, uh, no uh, no changes in the like top part of Korea. We do have in the other parts, like the uh, specific personas and also um, its uh, unique uh, district, the Seon, which is a replacement uh, campus. We do have a few changes. Plus one base adjacent from plus two so it got nerfed uh, especially is now gave uh, uh, to be honest uh, we didn't really see that much korea being played out in the competitive scene for quite some time now i think it's been more than months uh, since we've seen uh, any of the koreas being picked up sejong or seondok uh, so i'm a bit curious how th they wanted to actually get this uh, to a plus one instead of a plus two and the specialist will give plus six uh, and plus three science and plus one food, which is amazing. Um, also negative adjacency removed, uh, moved to Sejong. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, theater Seon, uh, adjacency removed, moved to Sejong. Okay, okay. So you do have just um, the leaders improving. Get culture based on uh, science when reaching a new era. Uh, that's just the same. Uh, Seon get uh, negative adjacency from other districts apart from the theater so on uh, get plus one adjacency from theater theaters uh, get plus two adjacency from a so on i think they mix very well i think you need to build them together i think i think that's what it meant right what it means yeah uh, cities with uh seons and the theater and get plus one culture and plus two tourism per district once uh, feudalism is unlocked to get 15 percent of production towards builders for cities without a governor interesting okay that's an interesting change of bonus over there uh Sondok removed the plus three science and culture per governor title in the city center um we do have a one amenity per city with governor and uh, we do have 20 percent yields for seon buildings for each governor promotion in the city center okay and when you unlock feudalism your cities uh, without the governor get minus 10 yields oh negative penalties over here oh, well i should say uh, penalties for seon dog for not having governors Ooh, okay okay well i guess uh building wide uh, is not gonna be a, that much of a thing for sundo uh mali minus 15 production Ooh, just that didn't start off well um we do have holy sites adjacency from uh desert removed remove the purchase discount on desert tiles remove the plus one uh, food on desert tiles oh Okay, mines receive minus one production and plus four gold from plus two gold and plus two at banking. Okay, so direct bonus again. Okay, uh, plus one food per desert tiles adjacent to your city center. Return to vanilla. Okay, city centers receive plus two faith in the if the city owns at least two desert tiles. Okay, okay. Uh, Suguma, faith and gold purchase in the city at 10%. Get normal adjacency bonus uh, from holy site, city center, rivers, oasis, governor plaza, and for every uh, two adjacent districts. Uh, Mansa Musa, banking grants uh, plus one trader capacity. No. Okay, so we're going to have basically what we've seen on uh, Kanuni on the big Musa here. Uh, holy sites uh, do grant uh, adjacency to the Sugubas and 15% production towards the uh, holy sites and its uh, buildings. Okay, okay, that's uh, interesting. They just removed a lot of stuff from the holy for the holy sites of Masa Musa and it just 
gives him plus 15% production. <sighs> Ooh, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I, I mean, it feels like it might be a bit too much too much uh, to remove but at the same time i guess we're going to need to actually take a look uh, in the wild what's going to happen with the mansa musa we haven't seen a single mali in such a long time that oh my god i guess they kind of need a little bit of nerve of uh, a, a little bit of love i wanted to say not nerve love love uh, sundia takeita uh, markets have uh, two slots for books patronage of uh, great people cost 30 percent less gold from 20 uh, theaters grant um, plus one adjacency to sugubas sugubas do grant uh, one adjacency to theaters uh, books now give plus four gold and plus two culture from four gold and plus two production series with a suguba in a theater get uh, plus one great writer point okay uh, also, bug fixes. Macedon's 20% when conquering a city should no longer trigger when someone else take a city. Oh my god, yes, 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 they actually fixed this bug, it's amazing. Uh, the strategic air force policy now correctly works, I guess, with uh, atomic planes. Okay, and we did have another one, right? We did have, okay, there we go. We did have another bit of an update here, the 590B. I, I do want to reiterate what I said at the beginning. These beta changes are going to happen, uh, or is, I, I should say we do have, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have quite a few updates in the next few weeks. So the environment is a little bit chaotic right now with all of the updates before it gets into the main version. That's how it's supposed to be, right? That's how it's supposed to be. This is uh, basically the testing period and every anybody that actually wants to uh, take a look how they should change how it affects the game and so on and so forth please take a part of the conversation over here in bbg or leave a message down below over there in the comment section i'm definitely gonna uh, relay it as much as best as i can to uh, the bbg team and the last changes on the 590B, uh, Mali Mansa, trade routes don't get gold from number of desert tiles in the origin city, uh, Rome Trajan, free building delayed to foreign trade, okay, okay, so basically the free monument, right, it's uh, delayed to foreign trade, that is good, that is good, not gonna lie, uh, Spain, Philip, combat strength against uh, civilization with a different religion reduced to plus 3, from a plus 5, okay, a bit of a nerf there, but I wouldn't say unwarranted. Uh, bug fixes. So on, so on. Now correctly, you have the plus five. Okay, the point five. I mean, a Liang um, right a second promotion. Now correctly, necessitates the right one promotion. Oh, they were linked properly. <laughs> uh, Ibrahim last promotion is now correctly linked as well. Okay, very nice. Uh, Chinese and uh, Russian should be fully updated. So we do have it uh, translated. The BBG is translated in uh, multiple versions of uh, text. So everybody that plays in different languages uh, could actually access this. <clears throat> it will take some time, by the way, to update everything. So you know, stay tuned, stay tuned. Let me know what you think in the comments. This was um, <clears throat> a better, better balanced game. 590B right now. Check the link in uh, the description down below to actually uh, download the mod from um, the workshop. And of course, if you, I'm going to uh, leave a link down below so you can also join the Discord and take part of the conversation. I do want to just quickly show you on the screen over here on the left side. You're going to have um, on every topic, on every topic, uh, one of these threads opened up so you can uh, take part of the conversation very easily uh, say your mind say your piece and of course uh, give feedback to the developers as much as and as big as as much feedback as possible of course it's going to be good i'm pretty sure we do have a lot of diverse opinions everybody will have its own opinion right about what's uh, going on let's see when we co where we converge so um see you later tonight when we're gonna have uh, the game the second game between uh, Team Ulysses and Team 250 uh, going against um, each other. <laughs> Let's see who's going to win. Are we going to have a third game? Have a great evening, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe.